All right, so I'm on my camera right now. I'm rushing. My hair looks insane. I'm trying to find a place for you guys so I can kind of just show you the rest of me getting ready. I'll show you my outfit after. This is what I came up with. I don't really like this outfit, but now I'm going to be late to the movie. I'm wearing some heels just because no other shoes went with this. And yeah, y'all, we're just going to go because I don't have time. I'm trying to make sure I don't forget anything. Um... Oh, and I'm wearing it with this purse. Let me just see how this looks. It's all right. Honestly, I could have had a better... Whoop! Almost almost fell. I could have had a better top. Um, but it is what it is, so... Y'all, I just went through hell trying to get here. Um, this movie theater, I'm going to the Chinese theater in Hollywood. And if you live in LA and if you, I mean, you've ever been in Hollywood, I'm gonna... Um, you know that it's literal hell. It took me so long to get here. It was traffic, it was parking issues. I'm definitely missing like the first probably 15 minutes of the movie. Hopefully not, but my aunt is already there, so I told her to get me snacks. And yeah, obviously I'm not gonna vlog in the movie, so I'll check in with you guys at some point. But if only I would wear heels, but I swear it's because there was nowhere else. I mean, nothing left the match. I'm trying to find the elevator. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys when I see you. I want a picture still, so hopefully I can get one after the movie. Cause it's I switched to my phone, but we just came out the movie. I was like late, so I couldn't vlog before that, but this lighting is good. And I just wanted to show you, that was like the movie theater. But my camera's in my bag. I just feel obnoxious bringing it out. And I'm trying to get a picture right now, but I just don't know, I'm stressed out. So I'm about to see. If I do get one, you'll see it posted, so. Hey guys, so I just got home. My hair looks crazy because I just took off my hat. My hair looks crazy. I'm honestly about to clip it back and I want to eat a snack that I found on TikTok. Oh, I left this light on. And ever since then, I freaking loved it. It's pickles but you warm up the pickles and then dip it in ranch and so good i love pickles and i think pickles go with a lot of things so yeah oh my god my hair actually looked cute without the hat i mean obviously it needs to be brushed out but i'm just not a hat girl i tried to be like a trendy little hat girl for the night and i don't know just wasn't wasn't for me my jacket um i took a shower before I left, so I'm not gonna shower again. Even though I went to the movies, but honestly, I was like fully covered. The only time I would probably like shower again if I came home, if I just felt really dirty, came from like an amusement park, something, or was wearing stuff that like my body was touching, you know. But um, I'm just lazy. I'm gonna be honest. I don't feel like it. And I took one right before I left. So I'm just taking off my jewelry. And I'm about to change. I'm probably about to just put on like a robe for now. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna brush out. Sorry that this angle is gonna be like really tilted and weird. But I'm just brushing out my hair. And then I'm gonna try like a new hairstyle. I'm so bored with my freaking hair. Fix this. Like, I'm not going anywhere now, obviously, but I'm just trying to test some stuff. Like, this could be cute. Yeah, like, I think I'm just tired of my hair being just down. But that was actually really cute. Else. Even just the ponytail. I need to just do like a long ponytail with some pieces out. Um, but okay, let me talk about the movie. So it was the Wakanda. I forgot the actual name, but obviously the Black Panther movie that just came out. And I was late. I was a few minutes late, so I missed the beginning of it. But my aunt told me like. I don't think it was anything crazy that happened for me to not understand the rest of the movie. Um, it was probably only like, I missed probably 10 minutes of it. 
but aside from that what happened um the movie was really good it was just like i i didn't expect it to be what it was because one the last black panther was so long ago and obviously i remember like the main parts but i don't remember specifics maybe things that were like important for you to know so yeah that's that and um i was about to just change and get all change in camera hold on all right i'm back but um yeah i don't remember i don't know what i was saying long story short the movie was really good it wasn't what i expected at all it was like a completely different storyline but obviously it had to be because you know i don't want to spoil anything but you know chadwick um passed away which is still so sad so like i think they have to completely change the storyline and i was wondering like before he died if he ever like filmed scenes um for the second movie because i feel like they had to have started already but honestly i don't know sorry guys i'm like this hairstyle is kind of cute if i go somewhere um this weekend i need to wear my hair clipped up but i just put on my little cozy robe after the movie um i need to wash my hands and i don't know where to put my camera after the movie me and my aunt uh i took her home because she had ubered and she only lives like nine minutes from the theater so i took her home and she took some pictures for me because i wanted to take pictures just to have some content but i didn't really like how they came out i still might post them i'm gonna go through and see if i can make something work but i didn't love them and it wasn't her it was just like my outfit i don't know if i loved I, like i said i'm not a hat girl i feel like the hat threw it off for me in terms of just like my angles and stuff so We'll see if you see me post <laughs> that I made it work. But I'm about to make my little snack. I still haven't showed y'all what I got from Zara. And I actually wore one of the items today. So should I just go ahead and show you now? So these were one of the items I wore. I showed you guys like when I kind of showed my outfit. But they're like some dress pants. But they're cargo style like with the pockets i think they're so cute and i got an extra small the small was too big on me so i don't know how zara's sizes normally run but they're wide leg they're so cute so these are what i wore to the movies and i also wore um some shoes that i got from zara with it which i'll show you now these heels so i wore these heels i got these in black and brown um i just thought they were good like staple colors for the fall and then here let me, i'm gonna actually show you guys all right the next thing i got was this jacket they didn't have an extra small i don't even know if that was like their sizes they might just do small medium large for this um which we'll tried on but i have on a robe so it's a really cute, I don't know what style you would call this, but I just thought it was a good like staple jacket and I love the details with like the sleeves. This is the color, it's like a brown, a dark brown. Super, super cute. So I don't know what the hell, where I'll wear this to. LA is not that cold, but I feel like it gets cold at night. So I don't know, maybe I'll wear this in LA. If I go somewhere cold, I'll bring it for sure. And this is the color of the other boots that I got that match. The previous ones, if you're wondering on the price, they were $49.50. That jacket, let me tell you how much in case you want to know. The jacket, oh no, the price isn't on here. Oh, it was $150, y'all. I don't know if that's crazy, but Zara, to me, it's expensive. It's like... It's expensive. What kind of class would Zara be considered? Obviously, it's not high-end, but it's not like Forever 21. But it's pretty expensive. I think it's overpriced, if you ask me. My total, you guys, was $600. And I left with like these two huge bags. So, the other thing I got was this sweater. I thought this was adorable. It's just a simple knit throw on sweater it's cropped which i love i love cropped things because i still be wanting to show body but i want to be cozy too so this was a small which that was the smallest size they had and it was 39.90 so 
this is cute i feel like i'm gonna wear this with like a tennis skirt and some high knee socks or like some boots that would be really cute um i'm thinking about going apple picking and i think this would be a cute apple picking outfit i've had some boots to go with it a little skirt so yeah speaking of skirts i got some but i'll show you in a sec so i also got this little basic sweater it's like a gunmetal color I got a medium because I wanted it to be oversized and I feel like I really could have got a large to make it really oversized but this was $45 why was this $45 it's the most basic sweater and yes I still bought it but I got it for like an airport just kind of throw on running errands sweater because this color just would match a lot of shoes and stuff that I have like I could wear all my black boots with this and you know um, so for skirts I got this in an extra small it was $45.90 and it's just like a little tennis pleated skirt and it has shorts on the inside so it's like a skirt technically um, and I already have a black one but the black one I have just looks cheaper to me it's from Fashion Nova and it has like a cheaper fabric I feel like it looks like more childish I think this material just looks more like clean and put together if that makes sense i would like compare them but the other skirt i've worn a lot i just feel like this was a good little replacement but i'll still probably keep the other one um but they have just like a good oh they're straight leg and they have these details on it too um they fit me good i just thought they flattered my butt might get them tailored but i don't think i need to so we're gonna see. but yeah that was all that i got from zara my bad Let's see how much my total actually was. I made up the price. Bro, my total, you can see that, was $609. And I don't even think that was like a, I don't know. It is what it is. But I feel like those are fall staples. So correct me if I'm wrong. Obviously, I'm not justifying the price. That was extremely expensive. But I think that the items that I got were staple pieces that I could wear throughout like the fall winter. They weren't like, oh, wear it one time, can't wear it again. Like the coat is a coat. The boots, I already wore the black boots today. And that was just the movie. So I know I'm going to get some use out of that. I didn't have any like sock kind of heel boots. Um, skirts, neutrals, I could wear with so many different outfits. Sweaters, same thing. What else? Pants, like everything were neutrals I could wear a lot. So, I don't feel terrible about it. But, let's make my little snack that I keep talking about. So, I saw a girl on TikTok. Um, oh my god, don't y'all hate when you buy bananas and they spoil? Like, this is good for some smoothies. Why do I let bananas go to waste? I should honestly eat one right now, and I just might force myself. Um, okay, got some pickles. I saw a girl on TikTok warm up her pickles. I mean, if you guys have had a hot pickle, it's kind of just the same thing. But she warmed up pickles and dipped them in ranch dressing. And I was like, hmm, because, fun fact, I love, love, love pickles. But only pickle dills. I don't like, or spears, whatever. I, and the bigger ones. I don't like the circle pickles or the ones they put on sandwiches i mean or burgers like i get my burgers with no pickles but i like them by themselves i like pickles with what's that oh i like pickles with chamoy tahine hot cheetos i like hot pickles um i like pickles with hot sauce and now pickles with ranch and i like cucumbers too and cucumber salad and you know they're the same thing so that makes sense but this isn't like a brand i'm familiar with nor is it my favorite i just was at target and i was like oh i need pickles and i wasn't gonna go to a grocery store so this is all that they had um but i like the like the generic all right the next thing i got was this jacket so cute um i got a small but i needed an extra small it's a little big on me but i'm like it's okay i'll just wear it kind of oversized they didn't have an extra small. I don't even know if that was like their sizes. They might just do small, medium, large for this. Um, would try it on, but I have on a robe. So it's a really cute, I don't know what style you would call this, but I just thought it was a good like staple jacket. And I love the details with like the sleeves. This is the color. It's like a brown, a dark brown. Super, super cute. So I don't know 
what the hell where I'll wear this to. LA is not that cold, but I feel like it gets cold at night. So I don't know, maybe I'll wear this in LA. If I go somewhere cold, I'll bring it for sure. And this is the color of the other boots that I got that match. The previous ones, if you're wondering on the price, they were $49.50. That jacket, let me tell you how much in case you want to know. Jacket, oh no, the price isn't on here. Oh, it was $150, y'all. I don't know if that's crazy, but Zara to me, it's expensive. It's like, it's expensive. What kind of class would Zara be considered? Obviously, it's not high end, but it's not like Forever 21, but it's pretty expensive. I think it's overpriced if you ask me. My total, you guys, was $600. And I had left with like these two huge bags. So, other thing I got was this sweater. I thought this was adorable. It's just a simple knit throw on sweater it's cropped which i love i love cropped things because i still be wanting to show body but i want to be cozy too so this was a small which that was the smallest size they had and it was 39.90 so this is cute i feel like i'm gonna wear this with like a tennis skirt and some high knee socks or like some boots that would be really cute um i'm thinking about going apple picking and i think this would be a cute apple picking outfit I've had some boots to go with it a little skirt so yeah speaking of skirt i got some but i'll show you in a sec so i also got this little basic sweater it's like a gunmetal color i got a medium because i wanted it to be oversized and i feel like i really could have got a large to make it really oversized but this was 45 dollars why was this $45? It's the most basic sweater. And yes, I still bought it, but I got it for like an airport, just kind of throw on running errands sweater because this color just would match a lot of shoes and stuff that I have. Like I could wear all my black boots with this. And you know. Um, so for skirts, I got this in an extra small. It was $45.90. And it's just like a little tennis pleated skirt. And it has shorts on the inside, so it's like a skirt technically. Um, and I already have a black one, but the black one I have just looks cheaper to me. It's from Fashion Nova, and it has like a cheaper fabric. I feel like it looks like more childish. I think this material just looks more like clean and put together, if that makes sense. I would like compare them, but the other skirt I've worn a lot. I just feel like this was a good little replacement, but I'll still probably keep the other one. Um, but yeah, got that one. And I also got that one. Wait a second, y'all. I got that one in another color, but tell me why it's not in here. Oh, it is, it is, it is. So I got that one also in gray. Adorable. I could honestly even wear this with the white sweater if I have like a gray headband or something. So yeah, I thought that was really cute. And then the last thing I got was these pants. Um, in a small, yeah, they were $69.90, and they fit me really good, and they have like an adjustable thing right here, this is the back, they have just like a good, oh, they're straight leg, and they have these details on it too, um, they fit me good, I just thought they flattered my butt, I might get them tailored, but I don't think I need to, so, but yeah, that was all that I got from Zara, my bag. Let's see how much my total actually was. I made up the price. Bro, my total, you can see that, was $609. And I don't even think that was like a... I don't know. It is what it is. But I feel like those are fall staples. So correct me if I'm wrong. Obviously, I'm not justifying the price. That was extremely expensive. But I think that the items that I got were staple pieces that I could wear throughout like the fall winter. They weren't like, oh, wear it one time, can't wear it again. Like the coat is a coat. The boots, I already wore the black boots today. And that was just the movie. So I know I'm going to get some use out of that. I didn't have any like sock kind of heel boots. Um, skirts, neutrals, I could wear with so many different outfits. Sweater, same thing. What else? Pants, like everything were neutrals, I could wear a lot. So, I don't feel terrible about it. But, let's make my little snack that I keep talking about. So, I saw a girl on TikTok. 
Um, oh my god, don't y'all hate when you buy bananas and they spoil? Like, this is good for some smoothies. <sighs> Why do I let bananas go to waste? I should honestly eat one right now, and I just might force myself. Um, okay, got some pickles. I saw a girl on TikTok warm up her pickles. I mean, if you guys have had a hot pickle, it's kind of just the same thing. But she warmed up pickles and dipped them in ranch dressing. And I was like, hmm, because fun fact... I love, love, love pickles, but only pickled dills. I don't like, or spears, whatever, I, and the bigger ones. I don't like the circle pickles or the ones they put on sandwiches, I mean, or burgers. Like, I get my burgers with no pickles, but I like them by themselves. I like pickles with, what's that? Oh. I like pickles with chamoy, tahine, hot Cheetos. I like hot pickles. Um... I like pickles with hot sauce, and now pickles with ranch. And I like cucumbers too and cucumber salad, and you know they're the same thing, so that makes sense. But this isn't like a brand I'm familiar with, nor is it my favorite. I just was at Target and I was like, ooh, I need pickles, and I wasn't gonna go to a grocery store, so this is all that they had. Um, but I like the, like the generic, not generic, the classic brand better. So, yeah, I made this last night and it was delicious and I, I just warmed up three and I was like, oh, I should have got more. And it wasn't like hot or anything when I warmed it up. They were actually still cold. They just weren't chilled. Like straight out the fridge, they're chilled. And I just, I kind of get why it, it makes it taste better to have like a hot or like a warm pickle, especially with ranch. Mm. So I'm going to actually, oh my God, I think I'm about to just finish them because I didn't really have dinner. Um... Yeah, I had some vegan tacos earlier, and then I took a nap, and it was time to get ready for the movies, which started at 6.40, so I had to start getting ready at, like, 5, and, um, what was I going to say? So I didn't really have dinner. I had, like, a late lunch, and I slept in today. So, where was I getting at? Oh, when I went to the movies, I had a hot dog, popcorn, and a slushie. And yeah, that was it. But that's like junk. I, I didn't have like a real meal. And afterwards, me and my aunt were thinking about going to get food, but she wasn't hungry. And it was 10 o'clock. It was just like, everything in LA closes early. So, you know, wait, what the fuck is going on? My microwave is the most annoying microwave in the world. It's like an oven, but it glitches. TikTok got a sneak peek of my snack. Cause I was making a TikTok about my snack. Here it is. I already started eating it. I ate one. I have some more. Mmm. So good. It literally is just like eating a salad, kind of, right? I feel like some people put pickles in their salad. I could be crazy. I don't, but that doesn't sound unheard of. Mmm. Need some more ranch. I also have hot Cheetos. Should I try one with the hot Cheetos? Should I try it with hot Cheetos and ranch? I know people are gonna think I'm disgusting, but I like weird stuff like this, okay? Got my hot Cheetos. Let's see, let's just see what it's giving. Doesn't sound terrible, so I don't know how I'm gonna eat this. Should I put it in my mouth first? I don't know if I could like keep it on the pickle. Mm. Honestly, you can't even really taste like <clears throat> the hot Cheetos with it. So I'm just dousing my pickle into some ranch. think I'm sick. Maybe some of y'all would try it. Can't see it. I 
one more left. <clears throat> it was technically my dinner. Well, and the junk I had in movies. It wasn't that good. I had some good like movie theater popcorn and hot dogs and that didn't hit. But my aunt wanted to go to the TLC. I hope I'm not saying this wrong. I think it's the TLC Chinese theater or just the Chinese theater. Because it's like a old classic movie theater in Hollywood. Like they had like they have movie premieres there. I know like Marilyn Monroe went there, that kind of era. And that's honestly the biggest theater I've ever seen. Like I went in there, obviously I was late. It was over a hundred people in a theater. I personally have never seen that. Um the movie theaters I go to can fit like 30 people maybe. Yeah, like I go to small ones and I like going to iPick and where you can like eat, which I would have liked to do that. That would have been fun because I could have had a real dinner. But it was cool, it was an experience. It was just a lot of tourists in Hollywood and I don't like Hollywood, so my aunt is a very like old timey person. Like she loves stuff like that. She's not like a modern style person. Even with her like preferences in her house, like the way she decorates, it looks amazing, but it's very like old decor, old Hollywood, like, so yeah. And I'm a modern person. All right, well, I'm done. I need to straighten up my kitchen, it's a hot mess. My trash is full. There's a lot going on. I kind of want to order some more food. I'm not satisfied. <laughs> Y'all, I'm a fat ass. Like, what the hell? The reason I don't care, though, is because I'm trying to gain weight. So that's, like, my excuse. Um, but I think I'm about to see what's open on Postmates. I might even get, like, some McDonald's fries. That sounds good. Like, just some fries. So, yeah. If I eat again, am I going to record it? Or am I going to embarrass myself like that? We'll see. But I'm currently 135. I was sick for two weeks and I lost like eight pounds. So I'm sad because I was in the 140s. That brought me back down. So now I'm like getting my appetite back and I'm just going crazy with the food. But, yo, my makeup is disgusting. Yeah, I'm not really tired. Like I said, I'm going to straighten up, probably order something else, just a little snack. Wash my face, do my skincare. Um, I've been doing like LED masks, so if I do that, I'll show you guys how it is. And like the red light therapy, we'll get into that. Um, and I'm gonna just chill. Oh, I haven't watched Rihanna's fashion show yet, the Fenty show. So I think once I'm like completely settled, like no makeup and all that, I'm going to watch that. So I'm excited. So I told you I was a fat ass and I got McDonald's. Mm. Why am I so fat, food-wise? I'm about to watch um, the Rihanna fashion show. Ooh, I think I want to watch... Actually, I'm going to watch Impact ATL. And... Then I'm gonna watch the fashion show like when I really settle in and get comfy because Brianna is more boy. I'm sorry, just kidding. I enjoy the show too, the Impact ATL. So I'm gonna watch that. But I just got fries and a caramel frappuccino. So I think this is it for tonight, y'all. If I do anything else this weekend, let you know. Okay, so hopefully I'm not scaring anyone, but. I just wanted to show y'all what I've been doing. So this is called LED red light therapy um, or color light therapy. And I look scary. Um, but yeah, I do this probably every night or every other night when my skin's just going through it, which it is right now. I do the red for 15 minutes on the highest setting. And then I do green for 15 minutes, um, same setting. Because the green is good for like discoloration. The red is good for just killing bacteria. If you have acne, all that. So, yeah, this is part of my night skincare routine. After this, I ice my face with like an ice roller. And then I put my products, which the only thing I'm using now at night is glycolic acid and moisturizer. I stopped using retinol. 
because I had a bad experience of a chemical peel. If you want to know more about that, watch my um, my catch up video where I answered questions. I went more in depth because that was a long video. I'm not even going to repeat it again, but yeah, and I got this from Amazon. So if you're interested, let me know if you guys want me to do like an Amazon video and I'll link everything in there because I do have a storefront. I just don't promote it like that, but I have a storefront and I've I'm one of Amazon's biggest spenders, so <laughs> yeah, might as well share it. But I'm watching some TV, so good night, y'all. Hey guys, so I didn't really have time to film me getting ready because I was on the phone with my friends, honestly, but I am about to step out and go to a basketball game. Oh, I just don't know what shoes I want to wear. Fuck. This is always my issue last minute. Um, I think I'm about to wear these. But anyways, this is my outfit. Ooh. Not put this here. I don't even know if you can see, but I'm wearing like a trench, a leather thing, some, these pants, and then I'm going to wear those shoes. So, yeah, I'll probably vlog a little bit at the game on my phone, but we about to go to my friends downstairs, and I'm like, I'm walking, so, gotta go. Hey guys, so I washed my hair, so it's curly now. I didn't vlog when I, uh, the rest of the time I went out yesterday. Y'all, I went to the game and went to dinner and I just was enjoying the time, didn't vlog, but I'm about to go on a date. So, um, yeah, just kidding. Well, kind of. A date is just going to eat with someone, right? Like, does it mean anything? Hey guys, I was gonna say good morning, but now it's almost late afternoon. So basically, I woke up today like around 8.30 um, and I was like, you know what, it's Sunday, I'm gonna clean my house. But I already had plans, so I was like, since I'm up early, let me try to clean before I have to head out, which was supposed to be around 10. I was like, it'll take me about 40 minutes to clean, I'll take a shower, get ready quick, whatever. So me and my aunt had planned to go to like an apple picking um, farm today. It's just something cute, like a fall activity that I've been wanting to do. I didn't go to a pumpkin patch this year. Um, and obviously this is going to end by Thanksgiving. So in California, all the pumpkin patches are really far out. They're like an hour and a half away. So it was something just to do early. Um, it's Sunday, so it's not as bad of traffic. But it is now like 12.30 and she's just now about to be here. I don't know what happened, but... She's very, very late. So I cleaned my entire house, y'all. Vacuumed, Swiffered, wiped surfaces, just everything. Um, got packages. The only thing I didn't do was dishes because I was like, I need to start getting ready thinking she was going to be here. So I was like, I'll do dishes last, but now it'll just be when I get home. And I just got some packages. And I wanted to show you guys how cute, which this is my aunt is actually about to come up here, but she's getting married in next year she's getting married in italy yeah ciao como whatever it's in lake como italy so super cute i love this invite this is adorable so um anyways yeah i'm gonna put this right here and, and i have a ooh, let me not I have a jewelry package. I'm not going to show you all the front because my address. And then I have some Fashion Nova packages. So I'm about to just open those. She said she was pulling up. So they're going to call me to buzz her up. And then we're going to leave. And I'll show you guys my outfit when I put it on. Because I'm just literally wearing a basic black top and pants. Because my outfit is really going to be the coat and the boots. Because it's way colder where we're going. It's further up near the mountain. So I looked and it said it was like 40 something this morning. Which is insane. It's probably going to be like 50s now. So yeah, I, I was like, we need to bundle up. But once she's here, I'll check back in with y'all when we're in the car. I don't know who's gonna drive, but oh, they're calling me now, see? So. Hey guys, so we started driving there, um, but we're at In-N-Out now because I haven't ate all day and I'm starving and this place is far. So I wanted to eat the snacks they have there because they have like apple cider donuts, little things. I don't know what else, but 
I can't eat that alone. So yeah, we're adding it out with my aunt. We went to the movies the other day, but that was like a really short clip. So um, we're just waiting. I'm really, really hungry. And once we're there, I'll show you guys my outfit. And obviously like the apple place because I've never been to I don't think I've ever been apple picking at all what? in my life no Not in Chicago? never I highly doubt it Damn. maybe Chicago when I was a kid but I don't have a memory of that I used to go pumpkin patches though I've been to a lot uncle Scott used to take us out the time when yeah I don't per I'm like I don't remember personally but I don't know maybe but they took me to like pumpkin patches oh my why my thing just flip upside down um, yeah, they took me to pumpkin patches. I just don't have memories of apple picking, but we'll see. When I get there, I'm gonna take my hair out this clip. I just don't want it in my face right now. But yeah, I'm wearing... Well, I'll show you guys later. The lighting sucks right now, but finally got our food. I ended up getting gas while we waited, because, you know, in and out takes so long. And it was just a multitask thing, because we're kind of rushing. So, yeah. She got a grilled cheese. Like, if you don't know what that is, it's just no meat. Um, at In N Out, you could get well, same thing as the regular grilled cheese. But I got a double double and I got animal fries. This is what I always get. But they messed up my burger because normally I don't get toppings on it, just grilled onions, ketchup, mustard, and they put everything on it. So they're lucky that we're rushing because I'm just gonna eat it. I just took off like the tomato. But yeah, I'm about to put the music back on. We'll be there in like 50 minutes. So. My God, I just almost fell, y'all. Anyways, I'm kind of wearing some fake heels right now, but I'm sorry they complete the look, so I don't care. I'll get them dirty. But we just got here and I just show well I'm gonna show you probably the next clip some goats. Yeah. Oh this was my outfit. Um this was my outfit. It's really cold by the way, but this coat. These shoes. Wait, there's a bunch of people coming. Oh god. You know where you're going, Claire? Yeah. Not yet. We gotta just see what's going on. First. Like the girls that really be like doing it all out. I really, you know what I yeah. really want to do is what? like travel vlogging so I can get paid. To you should. That's a thing. I found a good tree. This one has a lot of apples. Okay, I'm about to do a wholesome activity, so come with me. Oh, this thing isn't that good. Should I drop it? Yeah. This one's like... Yeah, look at this one. Let's see. Ooh, that one's really good. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, it's too hard. I missed it. I missed it too. All right, y'all. I don't know how the sliding looks because I can't see. But hopefully, I'm not washed out. Um, just took a lot of pictures and videos. So yeah, I'm about to just walk around. I really want to get before we go. What time is it? Oh. Uh, they about to close, but there's another one that closes at five and they said they're open. So I want to get some apple cider and donuts. They have apple cider donuts and apple cider. That's what I really want. And there's a, the next place there. That's their specialty or what it said online. So I'm excited, but yeah, this is the tree we've been getting content at. Yeah. Really cold. <laughs> I don't know if it's elevation or I'm just out of shape or what, but I don't know why I just lost my breath for a second. But yeah, we're walking out. I really want apple cider, but this place closes now, literally. So 
I'm out of breath. Are you? No. You know why? I have to work more to walk right now. I'm like walking up and I have heels on, so I think, I don't know. But yeah, we got a lot of apples. I'll show y'all when we're in the car. Ooh, I don't see it. Oh, oh God. It's a lot of horse poop. There was horses. But yeah, we're walking out. We're gonna see if like the drink thing is open because people are still walking in there. Oh, look the horse over there. If you could see. Wait, Claire, they close at 4.30. I heard someone say that, but online it says 4. Oh, no, we don't know the time because I only knew the time of the place that was closed, remember? Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, so basically, I had Googled and researched what was the best ones to go to, and it was a different one called Riley's. Riley's. So we went there first. It was just down the street. They're all literally miles from each other, but that one was closed for the season, so then the guy on the phone was like, I'm so out of breath. <laughs> I had to catch my breath. Basically, the guy on the phone was like, we're closed for the season, but the one down, like a mile down is open. So this wasn't a planned one, but it still ended up being like perfect. So <sighs> yeah. I've never been like in a wilderness place in LA. I've never been like in a wilderness place in LA. Oh, I couldn't drive up that over here. I'm gonna be honest. You might have to drive. Just saying, I don't like being on the edge of things. Look how pretty these trees are. I just live in the city, so I don't be seeing stuff like this. When I lived in the suburbs when I was younger, it was more like this, right? Yeah. I mean, the trees like turning. Yeah. It's like real. Hey guys, oh, lighting. Okay, so we came to the other one. This one's completely different. It's more so just for snacks, which is why I wanted to come here. So they have this huge little area to eat, like the tables, and then this is where we're about to get donuts. So are you gonna eat one? I'll have a little bit. Yeah, so we'll see what the hike is about because people have been talking about these damn donuts. Or maybe this is the line for the donuts. Oh yeah, the menu there. And I was like, well, you can get a slice of the pineapple pie with a Oh wow, oh my God. I okay so i'm gonna show y'all what we got we both got apple ciders hot apple ciders which should we try it or you think it's too hot so let's see it's still hot but it's good it just tastes like hot apple juice I mean, that's all apple cider is, right? Did you try it? Yeah, it's just like a little spice. There's like a little cinnamon in there. It's good though. I usually like cold apple cider. I have that at my house, but I've never tried like fresh hot. Never, I don't think. Then, donuts, and then I have an apple pie. And they're hot, so we need to eat them. Oh, you know, this is what most girls do. <laughs> but you have to put something back there, huh? Because I usually hear No, it's just really obnoxiously far back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can't you just zoom in? I can, but I don't even want to do that. Okay, hopefully y'all can hear me. This is a really weird angle, but there's really no other way for my camera to balance on here. So, yeah, we're going to have to make it work. Okay, you have to do the taste test. Let the people know what it's good at. Wait, take one. If it's worth it. You're, uh, yeah, we, we should rate it. Yeah. What your rating is. I don't I don't know how apple cider donut is supposed to taste, but all right. Ready? This just tastes like a donut. It just tastes like a plain. Literally just like a plain donut. fresh donut, but it's That's really it. good. It's good. It's delicious. I think I should have put like powdered oh, sugar on it. It kind of like melts in your mouth, but it doesn't taste like an apple cider no. donut. I don't taste any apple cider. It's literally just a warm. It's very fresh though. Like we watched the, them hand make them, so. Yeah. I'm gonna see one more and then. Here, one more, more. I'm just trying to keep them warm. Mm -hmm. They're little. This one has more sugar on it. Oh, look. Family picture at the back. 
Mm. It was good. Mm -hmm. The second one was way better. Really? <laughs> Girl. Because <laughs> there was like. The same. Wait, can I have a little piece of that? Or yeah, just that one? Hard. No, because I got one with a lot of sugar. Oh. So it was like a sugar donut. Okay. Now, I'm going to try. I haven't vlogged this much in so long. I still don't, I still didn't even edit my Disneyland vlog. Wait, when did you go to Disney? Right before Halloween, and then I got sick, literally. Oh, I mean, you're around so many different people. Yeah, but no one else got sick. I just had a weak immune system. Did you eat another one? Why not? Alright, so now I'm trying apple pie. It's hot. Wow. Wait, you can't even see me. It's really good. I mean, I've had apple pie, but this is just probably more fresh. You think they really pick the apples and make this over here? Yes. Why would they? Where else would they get that? Where else are they going to It's just hard. It's just funny to think about because it's like... It's, this is farm life, my G. Like, make it fresh. Mm. You should have got a fork. Did you want to try some? I don't like apple pie. Oh. I like it with ice cream only. Wow. Delicious. <laughs> Okay, I think I have to. You can it. It's like I just picked the semi one I like, but there's like candy. All right, so this is the little apple picking. My aunt had the basket, and we got like a bunch of apples, but I only took three because realistically, I don't even be eating apples, y'all. But I was like, I'll wash these and you know just eat them, make something with them. So yeah, super cute. Several days later. Hey guys, so I look insane. You're probably like, what the fuck is on your face? Um, but I'm getting microneedling from my dermatologist, which is like a higher grade because it's a doctor instead of an esthetician. And this is just how they numb they numbed me numbing cream and they put the saran wrap to just let it sink in more. So the numbing cream like really gets in there. Um, because microneedling will be very painful without numbing. If you don't know, it's like a little machine with a bunch of needles and it just goes deep into your skin um and it kind of just like kind of renews like turns over your skin cells so if you have any discoloration or dark marks it'll help with that and i'm gonna start getting this like once a month again because i used to but now i have new marks so and i've never gone to a dermatologist which is better so i've only gone to like just a facial med spa kind of place so I'm excited. Um, I have to numb for 45 minutes. So I'm about to just be on my phone. I don't know. And afterwards, I'm probably not gonna record because my face is gonna be super red and I just don't think I want that on camera. But we'll see, maybe I can get a clip of her doing it. So I um, just wanted to show you guys. <laughs> that was crazy. But this is the office I'm sitting in. I'm literally just on top of this bed, just waiting. And yeah. So you guys, I just got my good This is blood. And this is how you know it's working. So do your research. Um, if you want to do your research, do your research. But this helps with hyperpigmentation, dark marks. So yeah, this is my blood. If you're sensitive, I hope you skipped over this part. 